A startling reality show alleged rape arrest. Former reality TV star Michael Leslie Birnbach was barefoot and wearing a red robe when he was cuffed and taken into custody by police. He was accused of raping at least two women and was featured in an episode of Bravo's Millionaire Matchmaker. My net worth is north of eight million. I own 10 homes. I can afford to do whatever it is that I want to do. The 62-year-old posted $300,000 bail last night. The rapes allegedly happened here inside his Sherman Oaks home. The home was also featured on the Bravo reality show. And in his appearance on the show, Burnback discussed his preference for younger women. How young do you want these women? Wow. I want somebody young that could have children still. We reached out to Bravo and the network had no comment today. Police claim he met the alleged victims online and investigators came in and removed computers and bags of evidence from the home. Now, this arrest has a lot of people asking about dating show background checks. It's every casting director's worst nightmare to have something like this happen. Johnny Rains is a casting director who has overseen the vetting process on shows like Wife Swap, The Bachelor, and Super Nanny. This joker from Millionaire Matchmaker had priors. He had some battery. He had some other violent crimes which were dismissed. However, he was charged with those crimes. So in my book, that'd be a huge red flag, and I doubt that they would ever allow that type of person to be on any show I've worked on. E.T. sat down exclusively with major players in relationship reality earlier this year. Did you guys vet your contestant? The Millionaire Matchmaker star and executive producer Patty Stanger told us the whole industry was rattled in 2009. It was like all of a sudden the world said, wait, we got to pay for background checks? This is going to be the best night of your life. That's when Ryan Jenkins, a contestant on VH1's Megan Once a Millionaire, was charged with the murder of his wife and model Jasmine Fiore. They have to screen them, you know, like maybe not as strong as Mark Burnett, who really screens people, but it's, it's got, it's changed. And remember Darva Conger from Who Wants to Marry a Multimillionaire? She was shocked to learn her TV husband's ex-girlfriend had filed a restraining order against him. And I think if they had done a more thorough background check, they would have seen some other problem areas arising. 